local weather authority forecast. From your record warmth to winter like chill. That will be the big story for the next 24 to 48 hours. This is a live look at Midland early on your Wednesday morning. That sun still below the horizon, but we do notice the blues, yellows, oranges indicating that sunlight getting brighter. And as the sun rises, temperatures rising once again today, but things will drastically change. A pleasantly mild and a bit humid star as we do notice the mist highlighting the low level moisture on this again Wednesday morning. Satellite and radar showing very clear skies in the upper levels, indicating a lot of stable air in the upper levels of the atmosphere. We do notice though in Mexico, some clouds associated with our next storm system creeping closer to the Big Bend region and the elongated area of clouds, rain and snow activity in the Rockies extend into the north central plains that is also getting closer to the basin moving southward combining with the clouds south of us we'll see inclement weather especially as we head late tonight into tomorrow but for now we are starting off pretty quietly mild mostly clear skies right now in midland 61 officially at the airport 7-eleven that sun rises that sun sets at 553 despite the shorter days Southwesterly winds continuously bring in the above normal temperatures and also winds coming in a little bit from the west as well, allowing for not only the above normal temperatures, but also the drier air. However, it's a bit humid to start, 72% relative humidity right now. We'll see that humidity drop throughout the day. A bit more breezy in the northwestern parts of our viewing area from the Guadalupe Mountains to Carlsbad and Hobbs. Winds sustained at 20 to 30 miles per hour in these yellow to red colored areas, extending even into the basin from Wink to Midland Odessa winds sustained at 15 to 25 miles per hour throughout the day. Westerly winds drying out the atmosphere with still stagnant air and plenty of sunshine will be pretty warm. Average high 70 reaching 87 this afternoon. Winds generally from the west right around 15 to 25 miles per hour. For most starting off in the high 50s, lower 60s along I-20 and from Fork Stockton all the way to places like Alpine temperatures in the high 50s, low to mid 60s, well above normal temperatures in the high 40s, lower 50s in around Martha and the Davis Mountains right now. Eventually warming up to the high 70s, lower 80s in the mountains. 80s and low 90s elsewhere, slightly cooler by a couple degrees compared to yesterday. 86, 87 from Midland and Odessa to Big Spring. But then those cooler colors move from north to south. Colder air in the 40s and low 50s by tomorrow morning. 50s and low 60s near the Rio Grande still by tomorrow morning, indicating that cold front will arrive later in the morning tomorrow morning. Before then, increasing clouds overnight, temperatures in the 50s, winds starting off from the west, and then switching from the north and east, gusting up to 30 miles per hour. We'll see, again, an incoming storm system from the southwest, combining with a cold front to produce rain. Those greens and yellows indicate heavier rainfall in the Big Bend region, and on the backside, some very chilly rain showers and snow showers in the mountains terrain. Imagine getting close to our viewing area tomorrow, very chilly, 58 during the early parts of the day, northeasterly winds cooling things off even more during the afternoon tomorrow. Still chilly Friday in the weekend, slowly rebounding those temperatures will be as we head to by early next week. Make sure you check in with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez tonight at 5, 6, and 10.